In a deepening economic crisis, we all know that Main Street is hurting. But during a recent trip to Washington, D.C., it was also clear that Main Street is helping, and in a big way. For 28 years, Martha's Table, a nonprofit in Washington, has been providing food and hope at its table for the homeless, the working poor, and the young people from throughout the district. A safe haven in life's stormy seas. And since 1992, a woman known to her friends and co-workers as Miss Louise has shown how one person in one dynamic agency can feed both the body and the soul. My name is Louise Thomas. I worked here at Martha's Table for 16 years. I think a lot of this place because before it was even came into existence, I was a part of it. I lived in this neighborhood like 40 years, and I've always been a part of it even before I came to work here. I donated my time here. So it means a lot. It's fulfilling to me because I'm here where I can help people. The community has changed. New people's moved in. We have all the condos around. So we do service different people. Yeah. Miss Louise has devoted her life to helping Martha's Table reduce hunger in this city of both great power and poverty. Today I'm making chicken vegetable soup. That's 65 gallons of chicken vegetable soup, to be exact. Enough to feed the hundreds of cold and hungry people the center's volunteers will meet tonight. In 2007, Martha's Kitchen served nearly half a million meals to homeless and low-income people in the district. And when the pain of a tanking economy hits, it's places like this that the people of Main Street turn to. In the last two months alone, requests for help from Martha's Table's food pantry has doubled, making it a challenge for them to help everyone who comes to their door looking for help. Today, this kitchen will serve nearly 300 meals for the kids who come here for daycare and after-school programs. The menu? Sloppy Joes, corn, and oranges. And of course, it will prepare to distribute thousands of meals to the homeless across this city. Martha's Table takes its name from St. Martha, who the Bible says fed Jesus and the disciples. But this place does more than feed people. It's a place of support and caring, especially for young people, including a highly regarded teen program. The teen program has about 20 to 25 teens that actively come on a daily basis, so they're here five days uh, per week. Uh, we basically offer social, social services in Martha's Table in general, but specifically in the teen program. We do a lot of different workshops with our young people. Um, some of those workshops are life skills workshops. Some of those are soft skills workshops, but then also workshops that talk about relationships, uh, workshops that may talk about personal growth and academic development. Uh, we also have graphics, media. Uh, we had a music workshop, creative writing. We do a lot of different things uh, with the young people to give them choices. And one last question, do you have anything you can tell me about Miss Louise? When you think of Martha's Table, you think of Miss Louise. And for a lot of kids, she is that grandmother that will tell them like, you know, you better act like you got some sense, you know, don't do this, don't do that. Like, and, and it's great, and that all goes back to it taking a village. It's around 4.30, and the kitchen once again comes alive. And Miss Louise displays an energy that belies her nearly 80 years. The soup is ready, the sandwiches are loaded into the van, and Sloppy Joes are ready for the hungry kids upstairs. The logistics are done with near military precision, and the commanding general for this operation is Miss Louise. There are hungry people to feed tonight. By 5.30, the van has left, the kitchen slows down How a little bit, and Miss Louise has a chance to reflect. I don't know till I, I don't know till I get tired. I thought that seriously because. I don't get tired. I enjoy working as long as I can. I help let me. I'll be 80 years old in February 27, and I haven't had a pain or anything, no sickness in my life. So I just work until, until, until it's over. I, I just keep working. That's what keeps me strong. Work. Work's good for us. Yeah. People 
can say work bothers them, but it doesn't bother me. I enjoy working. I would be really lonesome if I didn't come to work. I wouldn't have anything to do with my life. So, I don't know. This is She's one hour from the end of her shift. She and her co-workers have made enough food to serve a small town today. But Miss Louise is not done. A man is hungry and has come to the back door for help. Just another day for Martha's table and Miss Louise. They'll do it all again tomorrow, just like they do 365 days a year, feeding people hot soup, sandwiches, and hope. Reporting for Bill Gentile and now on PBS Backpack Journalism Workshop, I'm Tom Lyons.